Hi everyone, welcome back to A Generation Empowered. This is your host, Bess Byers. We had some technical difficulties, so I had to push back Fiscal Friday to Monday. So I guess we'll call it Monetary Monday, or more appropriately named, Military Spending Monday. Unless you've been in a bunker, you've heard something about the Iranian nuclear deal. American politicians don't do anything without monetary gain, and Iran is a pristine example. So today we'll look at the hidden costs of this deal and why it's a meltdown on the American taxpayer. According to the 109-page agreement, Iran will be prevented from producing enough nuclear weapon material for 10 years. The country must also allow UN security inspectors to visit military sites. In exchange, the U.S. and world powers will lift sanctions on Iran, which are expected to generate $150 billion in revenue for the nation. Who else profits off this deal? One, two, three, well, war is good for war contractors and the politicians who get money from them. U.S. negotiators apprehensively backed a U.N. Security Council resolution to lift the ban on buying and selling arms and ballistic missile parts to Iran. Under the resolution, restrictions end in five and eight years. But war contractors can't wait. They need their money. And they need it now. And they'll get it. The Obama administration is negotiating over $6 billion in military equipment sales to Israeli and Gulf Arab states in response to the deal. The U.S. has offered to increase Israel's annual aid by $1.5 billion. Israel already receives $3 billion in annual aid, and by law, 75% of that must be spent in the states, thus boosting America's defense industry. Contractors benefiting from these billion-dollar deals include General Dynamic Corp., Raytheon, Elwood National Forge, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. Oh, some of those people also support TPP. Are you following the money trail yet? <laughs> I get it. Israeli aid is a hot spot. But this deal isn't about Iran or nuclear material. This is about redistributing taxpayer dollars to push foreign policy that benefits special interest groups. The fallout from this mess will take years to clean up unless Americans put an outage to the power defect in politics. Little nuclear lingo. What are your thoughts on the Iran deal? How do you feel about your money being sent overseas only to come back and buy weapons? How does the country trillions in debt provide billions in aid? Is foreign aid just another name for crony capitalism? This is Best Buyers, asking questions and signing off. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And remember, it's your generation and you're empowered.